Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are uh, just hooking up to our trailer here. We're getting ready to head west on this mystery trip to a place I've never been before. But yet I have been there before. Strange, right? I'll let you figure it out. We're headed west. And I'll fill you in a little bit. We're headed to the Rocky Mountains. That's gonna be a really scenic trip. We've got to, got to get across the prairies first to get there, but we'll be in the Rockies probably tomorrow. Do you know where we're going yet? Where have I not been in the Rocky Mountains yet? But yet I have been there. Got it pulled out here. Give it, give you a look. This is what we'll be pulling out west into the Rocky Mountains. To a place I have been before, but also to a place I have not been before. Put my tarps at the back there. I won't need them on this load, but I might need them for my reload, so I have them along anyways. Let's go. We don't have a lot of time to waste on this trip. I'm actually to the point where I'm just a little bit anxious about how little extra time I have. I have plenty of time to get there and more, but I like to have an abundance of time to get there so that I have no worries whatsoever. But I mean, we're at the point now where if we hit multiple delays, like maybe snow in the mountains, maybe I got to chain up, maybe I have to, uh, you know, maybe there's an accident on the highway or once... We get into the Rockies, you know, maybe there's traffic and stuff. It's going to get pretty close. I have a specific set time that I have to be where I need to be. And that time is 3 p.m. on Wednesday. And right now, it is Monday. So that gives you uh, an idea about of how long it should take me to get there. It'll be a few days. We need to get going right now. Oh, air conditioning. Yes, thank God for air conditioning. Oh, that's nice. Oh man, how did people live without it for thousands of years? Thanks. Okay. You guys ready? You've been ready this whole time. I will give you one more hint to the riddle. A place that I have not been before, but a place that I have been before. The extra hint is it's 1,500 miles away from Winnipeg. Just over 1,513 miles. That's pretty precise. We'll see if anybody's figured it out yet. If you get it right, I'm not going to admit to it until I get there. Beautiful day out. 23, 24 degrees Celsius outside today. That is good and warm. That is like, what, 80? Fahrenheit 75 to 80, somewhere in there. That's beautiful. Open says me. You thought about it, I don't like that. It's a very light load, I can't even feel it on the trailer behind me. We're just gonna sail on down out west. It's gonna be very hard for me not to give away where we're going because I almost said the name again. Sail on down to wherever it is that we're going. This is 
Highway 59, Southeast Manitoba. We're gonna go that way to the Trans Canada and then take the Trans Canada that way. That's another hint, I guess. For those of you who know the, the routes, I mean, I did say we were going west, but there's a lot of places out west from here. I did say we were going to the Rocky Mountains. A lot of different places in the Rocky Mountains. But not a lot of places that I haven't been to before while also still having been there before. It's the law that you slow down to 60 kilometers an hour or uh, 40 miles an hour when you're passing tow trucks. seconds earlier than if he was behind me. Congratulations. I hope you make it to the bathroom in time. What's going on here? Why are most of the pumps closed? What is going on here? Okay, well, I guess we're going to get in line. Feet, turn right on. Can't manage to road and then turn right into 130 feet. It looks like that last pump is open, but this guy with his two trailers is blocking it. In 300 feet, turn left on. Can't manage a road and then turn left into 130 feet. Uh, it looks like this guy can't figure out how to use the pump. He's looking very confused. Oh shoot, is this one not working as well? So as of right now, May of 2024, Manitoba is still on their fuel tax holiday, the new government's way of trying to get us to like them here in Manitoba. They're trying to uh, buy our support by giving us cheaper juice. And I do appreciate the effort. So we're uh, fueling here in Manitoba because it's cheaper here than anywhere else in Canada right now because of this whole thing. So I'm fueling here and then we're headed west. I just have to top up the tanks. I put in like 150 liters or like 40 gallons just so that the tanks are right topped up. Then we're gonna head west to where the fuel is more expensive. Once we get into the Rockies, it's definitely gonna be a lot more expensive there. So we gotta to remember to fuel in Alberta before we start going further west into the Rockies, like outside the Rockies. Uh, it's nice, but you know this tax holiday is gonna end. Eventually they have to put the taxes back on fuel. They'll need that revenue, right? And when they do, people are gonna be very upset that gas prices are gonna spike overnight. It's like, uh, what do you call it, a double-edged sword? You knock the prices down instantly overnight. Get everybody excited. Big honeymoon phase, right? New Manitoba government, honeymoon phase, cheaper gas. Wow, everything is so great. And then one day, they're just gonna quietly, whap, slap that tax back on there. And everyone's gonna be like, what happened? Why is the gas so expensive? Because it was artificially reduced, that's why. And now it's back up. Wouldn't it be nice if we never had to pay gas tax? Wouldn't it be nice if our gas tax would actually go to fix the roads that we drive on? Let's get back out there. We got a long way to go. I'd like to get past Medicine Hat tonight. We'll be driving into the night. Slide 
left on. Cat manager road in N. Turn left at 900 feet. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Coffee. 
I have six and three quarter hour of At the roundabout, take the second exit. Beautiful day for trucking, though. Look how green it all is. It's finally here. like that though. Oh, these guys here on the left blocking in all these spots on the right. I wonder if he's planning on staying there. I mean, there's a spot right behind him, right here. Like, look at that, directly behind him. All he'd have to do is back that Super B up. You think maybe he can't back up? Oh, this beautiful Kenworth. I'm gonna point my nose straight at him. I know this guy. <laughs> I don't know if he watches my videos or not. But... Beautiful truck. Look at that bumper right on the ground. what it looks like. Bullsnot Visible Rocket Spray. Check this out. Like. And it's got this little nozzle on it. it. Sprays up to 15 feet. So you spray it on your windshield from like standing on the ground. Let it sit for like 10-15 seconds. And you can squeegee it off with the, with the squeegee here by the pumps. Squeegee it off or just turn your wipers on. I'll show you here. Right, right on there like that, let it sit for a bit. And wipe it off, that eats the bugs right off of there. Get back out there. Got a long way to go yet. Be driving into the night, into the darkness. But we'll be chasing that sun in the west. It's setting pretty much in the north right now because we're at the end of May. So our daylight hours are really long. The sun rises in the northeast and sets in the northwest. The sky will be light until probably close to 11 o'clock. In 1,000 feet, turn right on Highway 46 and then at the roundabout, take the first exit. 600 feet, turn right on Highway 46 and then, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Why not? We're going to go around the south side of Regina on their bypass, so we don't have to go right through town. Hoping to make it to Medicine Hat tonight. I mean, 
or Red Cliff, Alberta, that'd be great. We'll see what happens. I'd like to get past there. They built the Tim Hortons across the road from the truck stop. Can you imagine how much more business they'd have if they would have built it on the same side over there by all the trucks? All of those truckers would be in there all day spending money. Now they're losing all the money just because of the location. Sad to say. The first exit. It's sad to say the truckers aren't going to walk that far to get their coffee. I mean, I would, but uh, not everybody's going to do that. Regina, this way. Off we go. Look at these guys here. 
they're double parked in there? Oh, okay, I guess these guys are gonna have to back out to get out of there. So I'm gonna park along the side of the driveway right here. Oh, but that guy's double parked here. Oh, if these guys are double parking in here, there's no way I'm risking that. Nope. Nope. Look at this. See, I can't park behind this guy because this guy's here. I'd uh, be blocking this guy. What are you guys doing? There's parking spots available. You see, I was thinking of parking up here, but I wouldn't double park like these people. Come on. That guy in the back totally blocking. Why are these guys doing that? Look at that guy over there. He's... And look at this pickup truck. What's he doing here? Why is that guy there? What in the world? Oh, these truck stops just keep keep getting better. They never cease to amaze me. It seems that courtesy in the truck stop is not taught in Canadian trucking schools. There's a lot of things that need to be uh, taught that are not. You don't do that. That's just lazy. You see, I can understand parking along the side of the driveway. Yeah, it's a little bit lazy, but you don't double park. You don't do that. I'm not not gonna do that. I'm gonna go back here. And I'm actually gonna put my butt in a parking spot. No, I don't feel comfortable parking here. I got a bad feeling about it, so I'm leaving. With all these guys double parking the way they are here, parking spots being so close together and narrow back there I just I just don't trust people not to hit me in the morning and not to block me in so I'm not staying here it's just getting worse it's getting worse I'm gonna go down the road and stay at one of those rest areas I don't care I'm not gonna risk it tried. Not worth it in my mind. Those of you guys who drive up here in Canada, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is not worth the risk. Alright, just down the road in Red Cliff, same town, just other side. Uh, Petro Pass. I see if there's parking here. And I saw across the street already the SO has truck parking. So there's no parking here. I'm going over there. We're definitely shutting her down here in Red Cliff tonight. Just got to find the right parking spot. See if we got some more sanity at uh, Petro Pass here. I could almost fit between these two guys, but they didn't leave enough space for me to fit in here. This guy could have pulled forward around the corner just a bit more and made room for one more truck. We've got an A&W here, which makes me want some onion rings. I thought I saw a spot over here in this lineup. But this is all blindside back in. I don't really like that. Once I show you where we're going to park here, 
you'll see why I chose to park over here. There's less chance of getting backed into or hit. Or... You know me. I don't know if this place is still open or not, but this place used to be a popular truck stop. Now there's no one here. There's a couple of trucks way over there. There's a couple over here. That's the Trucker Restaurant. That's what it's called. T-R-U-K-K-E-R-S. Trucker's Restaurant. What if it's still open? It doesn't really look like it. That's too bad if it were. I'm gonna take a look at this pothole that almost swallowed me whole over here. Holy smokes. Caught me off guard. Let my guard down for one second. I almost got eaten. What's going on over here? One of these potholes. Jeez. Take her easy, bud. And there we go. See why I parked here? You get it now? See, there's Petra Pass across the street. I could have blindsided it into that parking spot over there, or I could have parked up the Flying J down the road over there and risked getting my bumper ripped off in the morning. Or I could park here and not have to worry about a thing. Nice and quiet. Another W9 right beside me. No brainer for me. Okay, well guys, that's uh, that's it for tonight. Take care everybody. Drive safe out there and use your turn signals. If you like my content, leave me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below, helps me with the algorithm. And uh, if you want to take it one step further, you can become a member, get early access to all my videos. I gotta be, I gotta edit a whole bunch in the next couple of days, so the members will have a whole bunch to watch again, because uh, I release them all to them in a bunch, and then I release them one per day publicly on YouTube. Take care, everybody. See you later.